After noting concerns over potential divisions in the fellowship, reports of contentions regarding the spoken teaching, occurrences of division regarding water baptism and preferred teachers and their known state as babes, pertaining to understanding of the truth, Paul turns to the solution to the Corinthian problem. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons I warn you, for though ye have ten thousand instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers, for in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. Wherefore I beseech you, be ye followers of me. For this cause have I sent unto you Timotheus, who is my beloved son, and faithful in the Lord, who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways which be in Christ as I teach everywhere in every church. 1 Corinthians 4 verses 14 to 17. Let's break this down in what is verse 14. Preceding his prescription for these things that ail the Corinthians, Paul notes the point of his writing was not to shame them but to warn them as he would beloved children. Paul then makes an additional observation regarding their state of division over various teachers or instructors, stating that though ye have ten thousand instructors in Christ, Yet have ye not many fathers, for in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. The point of this observation is the lead-in to remind them of a key question, Who is your apostle? And also to the obvious answer that any who might seek to teach the Corinthians should line up with Paul's teaching. And so, the prescription or remedy for the Corinthian problem is that they, Paul notes, should be followers of me. And this following refers to following the unique teaching and message of Paul, given him by the glorified and risen Lord to in turn give to the members of the body of Christ. So concerned was Paul that the Corinthian believers get back on track regarding rightly divided teaching that he sent unto you Timotheus, who is my beloved son and faithful in the Lord. And the point of sending Timothy to check on them was to bring you into remembrance of my ways which be in Christ. And Paul's ways, as noted in 1 Timothy 1 verse 16, are a pattern to them which should hereafter believe. Paul was very intentional and very consistent regarding how he taught everywhere in every church. How different things might be in the body of Christ today, if Paul's unique message were understood and then intentionally and consistently taught. By instruction of the risen Lord, Paul is the one apostle to the body to Christ. Paul claims this over and over in his inspired writings, and we should pay attention to his claim, pay attention to the special revelation given him, and follow him as our pattern to following Christ. Believer, be followers of the pattern that the risen Lord Jesus Christ provided.